Hey all, it's Drew and we're back with another film breakdown video. Today we're going to go over South Carolina's offense and in regards to how they're going to match up against Texas A&M this upcoming weekend. Before I get into the breakdown though, I want to thank y'all so much for 100 subscribers. We just hit 100 subscribers by the time that this video has been released. I also want to let you know that there will be upgraded content moving forward. I'm going to try to crank out more than just two videos a week. We're going to do a lot more player analysis, NFL, college. Let me know what games you really want me to break down moving forward because I'm really going to start pushing towards that 200, 300, et cetera mark. For today's video, though, I'm just going to get into the simple offense of passing and running and what they like to do. Uh, I think that they're a very straightforward type of offense. They have a lot of tendencies that you can key on. So I think it will be very simple. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you all for the support. And without further ado, let's get into the film analysis. Let's go. Okay, guys, to start, I want to show you how South Carolina likes to run the ball more than they like to pass the ball. And this stat shows it perfectly right here. This is 2020 and what the percentages of run to passes. So as you can see, Mississippi State is the top team in passing as in regards to passing and running. AM right here, um, a little in favor of the run, but kind of balanced in South Carolina, a little bit under that. The teams are about 100-ish on the board, so they do like to run the ball more than passing, but more specifically, you understand that they're a two and three team. And so by running more than passing, when you would think that they would be down in the game script and need to pass more, really shows that they're gonna be heavily involved in the run game. So let's move on to the actual plays. As you can see, they'll run the ball a lot out of the shotgun and pistol, as they say, and they'll have two pulling guards or linemen to kind of get to the outside. And then they want to get to the outside and get upfield. So let me show you how it really turns out. You have down blocks by everybody. One, 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 one. These guys are going to essentially get the out to guys. So this is the only man who can make a tackle the away side linebacker, because when you have the lineman block, 18 has to crash over the ball, and I would trust our running back in a foot race. They would like to do it again, right over here. Down block, everyone's got a guy, two pulling players. This guy gets sucked up and actually kind of has one for two, and you can go through, and they do have a really, really good running back. Number 20 is their main guy. 14 is the guy that will come in occasionally uh, to spare him. So here's 14. Like I said, 20 is their main guy. And then they will do a little trick plays off of it. Okay, They'll run some reverses. The quarterback will lead up in blocking and get something going. Um, right here, they like to run it without any pulling guards. Kind of just a zone scheme. And they really get up to the linebackers. That's the thing. Our linebackers need to play very well in this game to come up, attack linemen, and make tackles, because if not, they get to the second level. So as you can see, boom, they will kind of do a little read option. You see this little flare bubble tunnel screen right here. So he will get up field, kind of make him the read option, leave him unblocked, and then scoot on by him and go on in for a touchdown. Um, right here, same thing. Leave kind of the ends. This one, just let them go upfield. Leave this end blocked and get upfield. So shotgun running, they like to do a lot of um, pulling guards, zone blocking scheme, um, stuff like that. As you can see right here, they run another one of those trick plays where they do a reverse. So it's not just one time that they'll do it. They'll do it a lot. And they also have a counter play where instead of coming downhill or coming across, he will come to the side. So you can't key on what side he's going to be on. Um, so running wise in the shotgun, they really like to do that. Um, now let's move on to, um, well, they do also like to do a pitch as well. And off of that pitch, they like to pitch and bring this guy as a little under pitch route. They will go reverse underneath. So they have a lot of different things in, in shotgun to do. Um, what I really want to talk about is their eye formation because they ran it a lot in their first two games. This was their um, third game against Vanderbilt. And so they really did it then. And then after Vanderbilt, they really did not go into eye formation. So I don't see them doing anymore because it seems like the progression is not anymore. Uh, but in case that they do go in eye formation, 
it is it is really heavily pitch to the side. They're trying to get these guys up top and run them off and the you know just a go route to get the corners away and we are just pitching the ball trying to get to the outside and they do have speed and they can really make a move and do something they also will come downhill just on a straight eye formation blocks safety gets sucked up and he actually went for a touchdown on that one um, they will do the pulling guards again okay do a little power play um, it didn't work on this play but you can see they like to pull guards or run zone scheme. They'll also just hand it off to this guy. So it's like another reverse play, um, but out of I formation. Um, fake the reverse, fake the handoff, give it to the guy in the flats. I'll talk later about how they like to get their tight ends and running backs involved in the game. Um, but that's what we have for the running game. They are mainly shotgun, pulling guards, or zone blocking scheme. They do one or the other. And then they have occasionally done I formation in their Vanderbilt a little bit in the Tennessee game. So I'm wondering to see if we're going to get any of that. Now in regards to the passing game. For the most part, they have two types of passes. They have an overall scheme of trying to get the ball in the middle of the field. And then they like to get their special players involved, all their impact players. So to start, I'm going to talk about the over the middle passes. Um, as you can see, this is a player. This is a ref. This is a ref. This is a player. Um, and they're running going to be a too high safety look. And usually when you have two high safeties, the middle of the field is going to be open. He's going to have this hash. He's going to have this half to hash. And the middle of the field will be open. He will drop back at the snap. And so what we like to do, run some switch routes. They call it like scissors because it kind of looks like you're switching on the scissors with the handles. And he's going to go right up into the middle of the field. Um, same thing right here. We're going to have this guy kind of run a little post or an in route and they'll look in the middle of the field. So be looking for those types of plays. Think about Watermeyer over the middle like an in route. That's really what we're looking for right here. Um, and deep balls over the middle, as you can see. And it seems like maybe a corner or a safety couldn't tell on the broadcast, but we're trying to hit the middle of the field. That's where they really like to go. And so just a quick compilation to show you guys all of the different plays that they will be throwing over the middle. A lot of in routes, you can remember Wattemeyer over the middle. Um, and lastly, what they'll do is when they do have single high and they bring the house on a blitz, they'll make sure to attack the corners of the field. Um, and that's what you wanna do in single high. So, uh, but a lot of the teams they've been playing were two high safeties. And so I think that's why they attack the middle of the field. Now let's get into who they like as their players, right? Their specialty players, impact players. It's Shy Smith, okay? He leads the team in receptions by a large amount, and we'll get into why he's such a special player. Obviously, the tight ends, remember the over routes, the middle of the field, that's why he has a lot. And we'll also get into the two running backs, Kevin Harris, number 20, and Deshaun Fenwick, number uh, 14. Um, and, he, and he has some passes, they'll get the running backs involved. So... Shai Smith, number 13, okay? They love fade routes and jump balls. He's a tall receiver. He can go get the ball. They're just going to throw it up to him like this. Um, he misses this play, but this looks very similar. Okay, this was fourth quarter. Look at this last play. First quarter, this is the fourth quarter. It looks like the exact same play and throw, but it isn't, and he actually comes down with this ball. Okay, so they like fade routes. Offense, or defensive line, offsides, so we're going to have a free play. Just throw it up. And yes, he can make plays. Okay, so 13, watch out for that player. That cat is a special player. They'll try to force it to him. Back shoulder throw. Didn't work on this play, but they will throw fade routes. They'll get him involved in, you know, jet motion plays. Okay, get up field. They'll throw screens to him. A lot, 36 of their whole receptions this year have been to him. They'll, they like the out routes as well. Get him on the sideline. Get him up field to really do something. Same thing right here. Throw an out route. Okay, and they'll also do another over the middle route. Like we, or sorry, here's another out route. The next one's going to be an in route. There we go. Like we talked about, over the middle balls or throw it to him. Um, the, uh, the last one is getting their backs involved. So they'll run their receivers up and they'll just throw it to them. They'll throw screen passes, but they love these swing passes and the little out route flare routes. They'll really get him involved, right? Kind of get him looking like he's going to the flat and get him. And lastly, They'll bring him out to the flat and then they'll come back inside because that's what they like is in the middle. Um, so that's what we have for South Carolina's breakdown. 
we have they like to run the ball a lot and if they do pass they like it over the middle and they like it to shy smith running backs in the middle okay so that's what we have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll have a recap video of texas a m versus south carolina at the end of the weekend thank you all again for 100 subscribers i really appreciate all of what you've done and supporting the channel i will keep pushing on and we'll start the trek to 200. But without further ado, thank you so much. See y'all in the next video.